I was Tate's number one hater before he got famous. Uh, Zerka kind of took that role for me, and then a whole bunch of other people did. But I, I still have not seen, like, for instance, I believe he, he did money laundering. Well, money laundering can, like, anyone can be stuck with money laundering charges in today's day and age. It's not that difficult for the government to say you laundered money. But to actually say that he raped women, um, that's what I have a problem with. Okay. Well, let's, uh, l- let's face it. Let's- okay. Let's face it. A man who is worth a lot of money, a man who acts like him and talks like him, they don't rate women, my friend. They don't. Those type of men. So Max, if you want to, uh, if you want to say, he, Max, if that, that, you want, is, hold on, hold on. Let that, me finish. That, 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 let me finish, ridiculous, sir. That is a ridiculous statement. Um, no, no, it's it, not it, a ridiculous it, statement. It's not because I know, I know what rapists are and he is not a rapist. Now, if you want to say that he uh, manipulated women to do things, sure. 100%. But we, we have to draw the line on saying uh, a guy like Andrew Tape is actually raping people. That's that's completely overboard. Yes, you are. Let Lucy speak. Let, 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 let Lucy speak here. Go, go, go ahead, Lucy. Lucy. You just said that he is not a rapist. We believe that he is a rapist. What evidence do you have that he's not? Because there's quite a lot of evidence, including him saying he loves raping people out there. And there's a video of him literally grooming a girl that's just come out today, a teenage girl. And also, sorry, as someone that's spoken to the victims, I'm just F you is all I need to say. So, OK, well, again, we, we have a typical woman who's already uh, slinging profanities around here. I didn't say a damn profane word. And here you are already attacking me. Uh, like stop Andrew being emotional. We're, we stop like being Andrew emotional. We are having we a are civil conversation. Friends. What is it in your brain that you can't see that this man could be a rapist? I don't understand how much more evidence you need. Uh, rich right men ahead. who look like him, rich men who look like him, do not fill, fill the profile of being rapist. Again, you want to tell me he conversed women, manipulated women, did want money laundering? Cool, but you're not going to convince me a man who can get any woman he wants is raping women. That's ludicrous. Okay, so let me interject mm-hmm. for some. Um, uh, I, I want to go back to Andrew can Tate uh, allegedly hit, hitting someone. Uh, 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 let me just finish and then I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I just want to know what the what the actual evidence is of Andrew choking someone and hitting a woman because if it's just a woman saying he did, that means absolutely nothing to me. No, Gary, I, I think, think Gary, I think there's I think Gary, it looks like there's over thirty women, bro. I mean, I understand that argument. You know, I defended Tate. again as long as we got the definition clear here. Forcing women, penetrate women, penetrating them, and doing all sort of degenerate, disgusting things like that. It's not about having power over someone else. This is a liberal term people made up, and people are just running with it. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what I do know. I know this is never going to happen to Nima. Because he's a strong father, and he's never going to allow his daughters to do stuff like that. See, when are we going to start blaming the weak men who are allowed their daughters to do stuff like this? Why is all the... We are oh not going to do that here. We're not going to do that here. We're not going to blame the women for being trafficked. We're not going to blame I'm the blaming women the men. Raped. I'm blaming the men. I'm blaming them on no, having no. weak fathers. Maybe, maybe you should of listen course. to actually what I'm saying. Of course. You have weak men raising women, and this is why yeah, this let, happens. Let, let's not blame Calm the down, Gary. Let's not Calm blame down. The let's not blame the drugs. So the emotional. Let's blame the father. Yeah. I'm, I'm, hey, listen, I'm keeping it real. Women. You've already said you don't trust I, I know it's never going to happen to Nemo, and he knows that too. Not until this is over. The two victims, they come forward to say they're not victims, but they were being threatened with violence and, black, and blackmail. But I, I, I agree. I would love to get more victims in here, alleged victims, victims of various abuse to, to explain to people how this actually happens. Intelligent women who end up in these situations because they're lied to, because they're deceived, because some of them are coerced. They get isolated from their friends and family. Can we call them intelligent if that happens then? Shut the fuck up, dude. You're exactly. Fucking, Why are you getting emotional? You're a fucking loser. Why because are you being emotional, sir? Why are you being emotional, loser. sir? You said in- you're a loser. You're not going to blame women for any of this shit. That's not going to happen. You are not uh, blaming again, women again, for sir. Being Why are you being emotional? I'm not. That, you want to see me emotional? <laughs> this isn't emotional. Yeah, you'd be very emotional. Maybe, maybe if you were a stronger father, your your son wouldn't follow Andrew Tate. My kids don't follow Andrew Tate. So, so so are you going to take any of the blame for this, sir? Let's let Gadget. You like him? We got it. It's okay. You follow fresh and fit, mate. You got fresh and fit in your profile. You can't talk about shit. I'm fresh and fit manager. I'm. Yeah, I know. That's even worse. That's that's even worse. 
Yeah, that's more degenerate than that. Gary, Gary, let's let Gadget talk. Come on, Gary. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Gadget. Okay. Okay, while I've, got, while I've got just a minute, while I've got a chance and a few people listening, so up in the link, um, so Tate has been consistently being accused um, and having women come forward for over a decade and say he's a filthy, degenerate rapist. Um, so this is not something that's happened because he started talking about Jews or um, Ukraine or whatever the fuck he says. Um, so there, there's four women in the UK fundraising to bring him to court in the UK. Uh, it's going through the courts. So Tate is in trouble in other countries than Romania, which he doesn't want you to know about. Um, if anyone can donate, chuck a few bucks in the fundraiser in the link. So cheers. Yeah, you know, I would be, I, I would be yeah, under, and I would be under indictment in the UK for some of my tweets. So what comes out of the UK really isn't that substantial. For rape, right, for rape, right, right. right. for rape right. and beating women and choking them until the blood vessels in their eyes burst. That for that. Any Gary. video of this? Any pictures of this? There is. is uh, yeah. Okay. Pictures. There's. Yep. Yeah. I can. Uh, sorry. I can. I can go in here. So there is um, text messages of Tate talking about the rape to one of the women, saying, oh, "I loved raping you," and talking about how he loved how she didn't how want it. it. Um, there is a voice text, voice message, voice notes of Tate um, talking about the abuse and the rape that he did to these women. These are real. These are not AI. These are going to court. These were revealed in, um, a documentary nearly two years ago and Tate who threatens to sue everyone has not sued the network that released them. They are real confirmed. There is multiple eyewitnesses that are going to testify on the women's behalf. Um, and again, these date back to 2012 when Tate was just a loser, drug dealing um, pimp, but in his own words, running around Luton before he was famous, nothing to do with fame. Um, so if anyone, if you can't donate, that's cool as well. If you can share the link, share, 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 that would be awesome. Um, just awareness about this, this case and just awareness as well about the fact that this has been happening the, the, the idea that this is happening because this guy is influential or famous is just embarrassing. Like it's just childish. This stuff's been going on since 2012. So, um, yeah, cheers, Nima. Hey guys, I was, uh, thank you for thank you for sharing that. I know we got a bunch of uh, maybe new listeners here, yeah, and in. I just want everybody to know uh, the idea that he says this is because of a bunch of Jews and that have in a Kabul that have come together after he did his X space. That's just false. First of all, I'm the only pro Israel Jew that's on here. That's speaking that I know of. I don't know. Cat might be, I don't know, but I, I, so this, this group is largely multicultural, multi-ethnic. And, uh, this is just, we're just talking about the evidence. These are serious allegations. Was Tristan or Andrew Tate involved with trafficking and uh, sex with minors? Can I jump in there, Nina? Yeah. Hey, Yehuda. All right, thanks. First of all, hey, everyone. Listen, first of all, I followed all of you. I uh, didn't really know Nima before, but honestly, kudos to you for putting the space together, and I'll tell you why. It's so important. Um, as we've seen things turn into a dumpster fire on Twitter at times, um, th this is a really important part. In the previous uh, – I'm not going to get into too many details, but in a previous career, I worked in human trafficking, an investigation of it, and I want to say a few points, uh, some things that really disturbed me that the Max fella said. Um, he, I think you'd, I think by listening to him, he's a law and order kind of guy. Well, let me give you some facts about law and order, okay? Um, the women uh, aren't uh, – no one goes up to a, a vulnerable woman, especially 14, 15, or 16, and says, I want to human traffic you, okay? They're manipulated by people like this. And I will say this, after that experience, I, I, I now, I rate horrible people in, in, in regards of like terrorist, uh, serial murderer, then human trafficker. Not even a murder of passion would I put above a human trafficker because the things they do to women are so vile and disgusting. Um, all for one purpose. Yes, it's about power, but more importantly, it's about money. They don't bring these women in uh, saying, hey, you're going to be uh, working for me in the sex trade. They start with a love con, that they're the only ones, that they've been with so many women, and this woman is the one that is really, you've blown my mind. That's how it starts. 
They find their weaknesses. Maybe it's parental, familial, friendship, insecurities. A lot of young women have, you know, insecurities about their looks, their bodies. They play on those fears. They intersperse this. It's, it's almost like a psychological brainwashing of the individual. It could be a girl from a poor family. It could be a girl from a wealthy family. It doesn't matter. At no point are any of these women to blame. If you think that a child is culpable, responsible for being trafficked, anyone who's thinking that, you get, give your head a shake. You're not normal. Okay, that's number one. This individual, people keep talking about him being famous and a professional athlete. To my friends who are real estate agents, I apologize. Kickboxing is the real estate agent of professional sports. Um, you're not you're not someone famous. You're not you know you're not some hero. It doesn't give you some license to train other people. This is a story of two, frankly, losers who didn't want to put in hard work and do a job. Who found out you could deal drugs and you could be a human trafficker or colloquially known as a pimp. Now here's the thing: Why do they go in young? They go in young because they want to get these these women uh, convinced and hooked early. Why? Well, if a woman was so inclined to do sex work online, she knows as an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old that she needs a telephone and a computer. She doesn't need anyone else. She doesn't need anyone to help manage her. She can do whatever she wants. I'm not saying I agree or disagree. It's not my place. My morality is not important here. So here's the question. Why on earth? Would two guys be required to manage or help out a girl who wants to go on OnlyFans? They're not required. They make themselves invaluable through abuse, through psychological torture, which is what it is. And they make them eventually get to a point where they feel that if they leave, either it's threats of violence or threats of coercion. And that's why they do what they do. Now, these individuals for years have been saying what they're doing, cat. Canada made it very clear. She, she, they're telling you what I mean. What on what planet do you think it's about the evil Jews and the the man trying to get me? They're literally thugs and pimps and losers, and they're telling you they're losers, but they're dressing it up as we've beat the system. We don't need to work. So they made their money through illicit gains, and they invested money in crypto and other stuff. They they like to make themselves seem like they're very intelligent. They're run of the mill crooks. And they're human traffickers. And I will say this, it is very difficult to obtain warrants and to lay charges in human trafficking, and especially in the West, based on all the laws related. If you have this many charges against you, you can rest assured this is the tip of the iceberg. That means there are thousands of other cases that did not meet the standard for a prosecutor to agree to lay charges because of the fear of not being able to obtain reasonably a conviction. This individual, for years, as, as Cat Canada, I think, said it, he ran away. He absconded from justice. So he wasn't charged or he wasn't brought into court because he wasn't found. He resurfaced in the country he thought he could play with the system. So t hats off to Pax from Romania. And hats off to the Romanian uh, DICOT, DICOT, for actually going above and beyond to prosecute. This is not new. This the, 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 the testimonies of the victims weren't obtained b between now and last week when Candace Owens and her fanatical nonsense stuff was babbling stuff about Jews. So the fact that they say, oh, you say stuff about Jews and you get booked. No, this has been going on for years. And these uh, victims most likely have been uh, dealing and working with law enforcement for at least six to seven months. Lastly, I want to make one other point. I find the most disgusting statement I heard was that gentleman say, don't believe, why would we believe women? My God. It is, um, you know, and then he said, was well, there a video of it? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I think there's less than 1% of rape convictions that have had videos of the women being raped. The fact that you said, this Max fellow, how dare you, and I'd love to hear your reply, how dare you say, well, if there's no video, it means they're lying. No, that's, that's literally not what happens. Usually rapists don't set up cameras as they're raping their victims. And usually women don't know they're getting raped or that day they're gonna get raped, so they have a body cam on. The fact that you even said that shows one, I don't know why you're shilling for him, but it shows you have no concept of law enforcement. You have no understanding of the judiciary. And frankly, you lack common sense. And I'm not a white knighting for people, but I'll tell you one thing. There's nothing more disgusting than a human trafficker. And there's nothing. It is absolute sick. It's a sickness. 
and it is based in power. The fact that you try to, re, you know, rape is about sexual violence. Yes, that's part of it, and it's also something else. And the fact that you don't know that, you shouldn't be talking. Well, uh, 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 let's, 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 let's talk about first, number one. Uh, you said that you're uh, used to be around human traffic all the time. So let me ask you, all these women who are humanly trafficked, did they have any fathers in their lives? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so they had fathers in their lives and they were still human traffic. Correct. Okay, so that, number one, don't have weak men around because things like that would never happen if they had a strong father who actually protected their daughters. Number two, uh, you said, what do these pimps do for these OnlyFan women? Well, uh, let's take Andrew Tate, for instance. Uh, he could get people, women, these women on podcasts. He could get these women all over social media, which means they would make more money off their OnlyFans, which is why they do it. So don't say there's no reason for it. By the way, I think OnlyFans should be banned. If I could push a button right now and ban OnlyFans, I would do it. The problem is these women like to make money off OnlyFans. There's a lot of women who are making six figures a month taking money from simps on OnlyFans. But see, it's okay to exploit men. It's okay to exploit men. No one's ta- no one cares about exploiting men. Oh, yes, exploiting men who cannot get women so they, they sign up for their OnlyFans and make money off that shit. Why are we not worried about that? Men who should be going out there looking for uh, to build families now just go on the computer, give their OnlyFans woman a whole bunch of money, and then that, and they're set for life like that. This is male exploitation, and it needs to stop. It needs Do to stop. Only fans will? need to be okay, deleted. Only fans need to be deleted. Hey. No, 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 no. Only fans need to be deleted. Why is it as soon as you give women rights, all they start doing it? Why is it as soon as you give women rights? Calm down, Why is it as soon as you give women rights, they start taking off their clothes? It's male exploitation. I mean, please, not, please, can I, can I address this? Um, up in the nest, I've got a video of Andrew Tate himself, and it's one of many. I can provide accounts of these. Um, of him um, before he got in trouble and started changing his story, um, saying, I used to be a pimp. I used, I used to make, get these women to do everything I said and take all of their money. And, um, and I think I get this from my job. So when I was, I'll say pimping because it was webcam, but it was essentially, what it was, essentially yeah. what it was. When I was pimping, you'd pick up a girl, but if you get a high value asset, like a girl, because that's what a beautiful woman is. A beautiful woman's a high value asset. It's like having a Ferrari. You yeah. walk down the street with a beautiful woman. It's like driving a Lambo. Everyone's staring at you. Yeah, yeah. So if you pick up a high value asset in the pimp game, you need to learn how to control her and retain her. You need to make her do as you say, and you have to keep her. Yeah. And you have to keep her regardless, in, in spite of the fact that you you cheat, you're busy, you yeah, take yeah. all her money, you make her do something she doesn't want to do, and she still has to stay with you. Yeah, so yeah, to yeah. me, that's what the game was. Um, so Tate was a pimp who would take 100% of some women's earnings, abuse them, not let them leave the house. Again, all according to his words on top of the other, other the evidence we have. Um, so if anyone hasn't heard Tate say something like that and is one and doesn't think he would do something like that, um, I just suggest um, take a minute to watch the video in the nest I just put up. He has, Georgie, he has Georgiana to uh, keep the women in line. He doesn't hit him himself. So I'm not going to believe that he actually hits women himself since he has Georgiana doing that for him. What's well, the point of Georgiana? Here, he hits women. Okay. He hits women. So, okay. Yeah, it, it, so I, I, I have yet to point. see evidence of this, but okay. This is the entire point of the charge of forming an organized criminal group. They put a method in place where the Tate brothers would allegedly recruit the women. They would look online through Instagram and dating apps to try to find vulnerable women and enter a false relationship with those women. Thank over you. Vulnerable a, women is the key. Murder. Yeah, vulnerable women, exactly. Thank, thank you. And over, a period, and over a period of time, they would build up their trust and then they would go meet them in person and have sex with them. So they would put, I'm putting this in air quotes, to see if they would pass the PhD test to see if they were quality. Then they would talk them into going to Romania. They would pay for the transportation to either go to Romania or to go to the city that they lived in in Romania if the victims were already in Romania. Once the victims were in Romania, they were taken to another house. They didn't live with the Tate brothers. They were sheltered in another house full of sex workers. And then Georgiana and Luana, they would begin to coerce them with the help of the Tate brothers from both sides to coerce them to get them to work in pornography. That's the system. So forming an organized 
criminal group. It's the entire system. So to try to downplay any sort of violence because maybe Georgiana did it, she did that at the instruction of the Tate brothers. That's 100%. why Tristan has a charge. That's why Tristan has a charge of inciting violence and Georgiana has a charge for actual violence. Tristan incited her. Georgiana took him up on it. He told her to do it. She did it. Yep. That's the system. And, that and I'm not arguing that charge incitement. I'm not arguing that charge, but to say he actually did it himself is absurd. To say he actually raped these women himself is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. What okay. do you mean? The, no, okay. it's absurd that you're you're okay. I'm gonna give you an example. Sorry, he he said something. I didn't interrupt him because I wanted to hear the rest of the nonsense with respect. You said <laughs> these women didn't have male figures in their life. No, right? they they you clearly they didn't have, have strong figures. fathers. No, <laughs> you you clearly you clearly you and reality are so far apart. I'm not even gonna get into. It. But I will say this. I'm gonna give you a real life example. I'm gonna change rank, city, name, people. Um, one of the things that struck me about one of the statements one of the victims made was that she was left outside in the rain. Uh, she was thrown out of the house. And there was an incident where there was a daughter of, let's say, a high-ranking public safety officer who had gone to visit a family member. I'm going to say, I'm going to make up a city, I'm going to say Los Angeles. And uh, forgive the, the the geographic nonsense because I try not to 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 debate or dox the person. Um, and that person had been talking to a guy on the internet for months, and she said, "I'm visiting my cousins in that town." The guy met her. He pulled an Andrew Tate. I love you. I, I'm amazing. Uh, try. She tried drugs for the first time, and uh, he told her he was going to marry her. And uh, he, she's like, "I'm only here on vacation." Um, after drugs and whatnot, she was trafficked to Canada in the winter. By the way, guys, we have we have a speaker. We have a speaker whose uh, BFF is Andrew Tate. He might be on the payroll of Andrew Tate. Uh, his name's Will. Uh, Will, I, I take it you want to talk, brother. You're welcome to talk. Oh yeah, you know, you know, I I got something that I'd like to ask you guys. So, you know, you guys are sitting here talking about rape and human trafficking. But Nima, aren't you the biggest defender of Israel who just got found that, you know, you guys were raping? Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. Irrelevance, irrelevance. Raping bandits, you guys are boycotting. Will, honestly, this is not like a Pakistani talk about Pakistan or, or Qatar. We're trying to have a talk conversation about some serious charges and have an adult conversation. This is not the sleazy, the real world. In the sleazy real world where we talk about how Earth is flat, I expect you to act like an adult. I showed you a courtesy by having you here. I don't know if you would have reciprocated that for me. So please be a mature adult and let's have an adult conversation. This is not the sleazy, the real world. Oh, okay. Right. Everyone, right. sees, fuck, the fuck Israel, Everyone sees the topic. Everyone sees the topic. Anyways, I got a question for, for Pax and all of these other so, so-called experts. So the CCTV footage that the Tate brothers have, right, because they have CCTV footage from in and outside of their house that, that runs 24 hours, how come there's nothing on those tapes? If you guys are saying that, you know, they're trafficking. I got it. The girls are in another raping, house, ding dong. How, how are they raping women? How <laughs> yep. are they raping women I in their it. house and there's no footage of it? If, the, if there's footage of it, it's been admitted. Let me take this. Hey, Will, how you doing? All right, so here's, here, here's what's going on with the CCTV footage. The girls were kept in another house down the street from the Tate brothers. It was a house full of sex workers. DCOT has the CCTV footage of that house and from the neighborhood showing the house. Now, DCOT alleges, I haven't seen the footage, I'm just reading what they say. DCOT alleges that that CCTV footage proves that those women could not come and go of their own free will. They always had to be chaperoned in and out of the house. And the same thing that you see well, at the actual we've tape seen, compound. We, we have seen footage of these women leaving freely, going to the Gucci store, coming back with Louis Vuitton bags. Let's stop the fucking games, murdered. You're a fucking... Okay, no. Everybody on no, here, you're all yeah. rape six well, tigers anyway. You're all Zionists. You guys rape... Okay, so Will's incapable of having an adult conversation. So... Let me continue explaining this, Will. The women, when you saw them leaving the, the compound with the women, they were being chaperoned by Georgiana and Luana. They did not go out on their own. They didn't leave the compound by themselves. So when you see them going out and coming with the bags, that was with Georgiana and Luana, the women who literally beat them. 
They physically are, assaulted are talk, them. Are you talking about? Are you talking about the same women that said that they wanted to be on Hulu and Netflix? That they wanted to cry. Yeah, let's talk like, about that. Like they're crying in front of Detox. Hey, Will. Yeah, Will, Will you, you sound. You sound like you have something you to worry about. Serious, are you fucking serious? Are you involved? Are, are you, you fucking yeah. serious? You seem really. Yehuda, I, can, I know listen, all guys. about this. Yehuda, I know all about this case. I know more than anybody you don't. about this case because I've actually. You don't. No, you don't. You, you don't. don't. There's well, a reason. There's a reason, reason why the Tate brothers have been charged, free this Will? entire time. There's a reason they've been free this entire time. That case is. Shut up, steal you. Free. Oh my God. Of innocence. Come on, man. Come okay. on, yeah, man. They have more freedom than you. Murdered. You're you're hiding behind a fucking emoji. Like, come on, man. Stop the fucking game. That sounds like, like, come on, man. Stop the fucking game. That sounds like Will, 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 I mean, you're hurt because Andrew didn't want to acknowledge you. It's a normal thing to you. say, right? You're a fucking bum, Mima. I, honestly, I feel bad for you. All right, let's okay, put this up so an adult conversation, guys. This is not a sleazy conversation about in Qatar about how we hate Zionists and Jews. Let's have a, a serious conversation. And not this is not a conspiracy theory to Earth is flat. Will, you're, you're welcome to go into those conversations, but we expect you to act like an adult here. I'm not going to tell you again. If I tell you again, I'm going to block you, and I don't want to block you. You're hurt. Bro, you're hurt. I don't want to block you. because Andrew didn't acknowledge you. Nima, it's I don't, okay. I don't, it's I don't want to block you. I don't want to block you, man. Just please, please stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Again, this is not Nima, a Pakistani. Nima, were you in the war room, yes or no? Were you in the war room, Pakistani. yes or no? This is not a Pakistani 4chan talking about Zionist conspiracy theories. I expect you to act like an adult, and we're going to go to the next speaker someone, here. We have someone um, who's actually debated Tate on, on X, uh, Ed. Ed, the floor is yours. Yeah, how's it going, guys? Yeah, I, I mean, the allegations against the Tate brothers, definitely, especially Andrew, definitely seem pretty horrible. Uh, and, I mean, it's not just one person making these allegations. It's multiple people. With that said, I, I do think that they do deserve the, I, I, the presumption of innocence until they are actually proven guilty. The Romanian justice system has made huge strides in the last several years. Uh, it's now under EU supervision, so the corruption there has been rooted out. Uh, to, to to pretend that this is just this quote, like one person said, the same people going after Tate, the Tate brothers, as went after Trump is just absurd in my mind. Uh, you know, one was the U.S. justice system and one is the Romanian justice system. They have virtually no overlap whatsoever. I think it's just a talking point of people who are guilty, who are trying to claim that the justice systems are after them, because if you're convicted of a crime, of course, the Tate brothers have not been yet, but they have been charged. If you're convicted or charged with a crime, pretty much your own your only way out is to claim that you are unfairly convicted or unfairly charged for that crime. So I, I think it's ridiculous. But at the same time, they do deserve the presumption of innocence until they are proven guilty. I mean, they have charges in the UK, I believe, as well. So we'll we'll have a conclusion at some point, I assume. Yeah. You want to add a little bit? Add one thing. Do you let know? me add a little bit of clarity to that really quick murder, murder. Uh, to what Ed was just Sorry. saying. So the brothers have been charged with human trafficking in Romania for the first case. Now they're just looking at them for additional human trafficking and trafficking in minors. That's a second case that was coming. And this is what this was announced back in June of 2023. So this actually isn't news. It's just that the raid happened today. So they're actually starting to take this a little bit further. The next step will be an indictment. And they're also going to be extradited to the UK, both brothers, for a trial for human trafficking and rape. And that's going to happen whenever Romania concludes. That means if they're acquitted of all charges, they will be arrested and uh, extradited to the UK for a human trafficking and rape case, or if they're sentenced to prison in Romania, when they get when their prison sentence ends, they will be arrested again and extradited to the UK. So they're, they're going to have three criminal cases so far specifically for human trafficking.